It's oh, actually it's, yeah. a mirror. King has put away the lands for the weekend. Yeah, not playing lands. He's playing four color control as well. It looks like uh, we're packing up going to game three here, assuming that game total is correct up top. Yeah, well, they're still shuffling, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume so. Hmm. Yeah, both on four-click control. So this is a deck we kind of mentioned that it started started seeing some play in for this list in the the legacy community. Some of the Czech teams were playing it. Hmm. Uh, it started to move over here. This is kind of its it start. You know, this is like an evolution of the Sultai decks. There's maybe Sultai Delver rear, or maybe the thing that the decks that Reed Duke used to win the GP. Um, not as heavy on mana creatures. They no longer play Noble Hierarch. They still play Deathrite Shaman. Hmm. Uh, a lot of copies of Leovold. Both players playing two. A lot of copies of Baleful Strix and Snapcaster Mage. Neither player has True Name Nemesis in their main. Neither player has True Name Nemesis in their sideboard. This is just a control mirror. Hmm. And these decks are just really configured as opposed to the Reed Duke Sultai deck to just have more business. They don't mm -hmm. care about creatures that attack and block. They don't care about creatures that just produce mana and influence combat. This is all value all the time. Value in interactive spells. Yeah, looking at some of the differences between the two players here. Uh, looking at their sideboards, I mean, this is going to be a lot of the same cards, really, uh, between the two decks. Mm -hmm. uh, they're on very similar lists here. I'd be curious to know whether or not both players have identified that the opponent is not on True Name Nemesis. Right, if there's any Diabolic Edicts in either player's deck. Mm -hmm. Edict is still totally reasonable like, against some of the stuff in the deck. You can get Leobold off the table, for example, if you're able to keep things clean otherwise. So it is pretty bad against Baleful Strix, Snapcaster Mage. Uh, the, the Edict, if you identify your opponent does not have True Nemesis, you probably just don't want this card in your deck. Oliver, too, right now has had one of the best years in Magic the, for the youngster here. One Rookie of the Year last year was the runner-up at Worlds. Just recently was the champion of the Vintage Super League as well. Platinum Pro this year. Really, I think one of the first times we've seen him here on the SEG Tour. Mm -hmm. Had a chance to first play. I played against his team at the Team GP last weekend. First time interacting with him. Who won? Uh, our team won, but Oliver did as well. Because <laughs> he is a powerful magician. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> it would be very difficult to argue against that position. Yeah. Both players starting off with Deathrite Shamans. Oliver, a pair of Jaces in hand. Spell Snare as well. Looks like he's going to go ahead and lead on Brainstorm. Immediately drawing three. Lightning Bolt, Coligan's Command, Fossies. He only has a second land in hand. He might be Brainstorm locked here. If he has something like Ponder to shuffle some cards away. Yeah, puts Jace and something else back. There's, you know, also, there's only one fetch land in the graveyards right now, and Oliver has priority on the Deathrite Shaman interaction to mm -hmm. see how he wants to use that. Mm -hmm. well, looks like he has access to Lightning Bolt Thoughtseize here, which would be a pretty solid turn. Okay, he actually, no, he does have another land. There's, another, there's an island here. So he has lands two and three, so not bad. I don't know if he has a shuffle effect, so the Brainstorm still did some work here. It's not going to be a perfect one. But good enough. Yeah, you know, sometimes you brainstorm and just all the cards you see are good. Yeah, Thoughtseize here. We'll get a look at Kevin King's hand. It's going to be two lands, two Jaces, Snapcaster, Strix. Both players a little heavy on Jace here in the early game. Yeah, Oliver had two. He put one back on his brainstorm, but as I, I kind of mentioned before, he doesn't actually have a way to shuffle. See what Oliver wants to take here. By taking the Strix, Kevin's hand is very low, low speed. And that's what Oliver's going to do. Take Strix, and looks like we're going to bolt down the Deathrite Shaman. But now King is actually very far behind. Yeah, King draws another land. His hand is three lands, Snapcaster, two Jaces. No cards in yard to Snapcast. This, there's not much going on. It looks like neither player actually on Wasteland here. So Third. players will just be able to go up the curve and cast Jace when they get there. Third land from Oliver and a pass. We don't know if he has a fourth land. Also note, there's no fetch land in either player's graveyard yet. Mm -hmm. So Oliver does have Jace. However, 
No lands. Now Kevin's going to put some lands in the yard for him as he casts Lay of Old here. That was a solid pickup. Solid card here. We'll see if Oliver has a response. He's going to go to work eating an instant out of the yard. Sorcery, rather. Kevin takes two. Yeah, Oliver with Spell Snare as his interactive card. That'll matter if the Snapcaster Mage in Kevin's hand ever becomes good, but it's not going to solve the Leovold problem. No, the J, another Jace here drawn for Oliver. So his fourth land comes courtesy of Kevin as he plays Jace. And... Jace really only has access to two modes here. You certainly don't want to brainstorm against Leovold, though. Yep. Bouncing that will allow King to draw a card. He draws a card, but Oliver gets board advantage here. Jace lands. Mm -hmm. yeah, I suppose the other option of not of just brainstorming is a little... That That's poor because then all it takes is one... Well, you brainstorming can't, you can't against Leovold, you just put two cards from your hand oh, on top yeah, of your deck. Oh, yeah, never mind, never mind. I would horrible. strongly yeah, advise don't against don't that play. That's why... <laughs> What a <laughs> I, uh, yeah, okay. I, uh, I might have lost the game. All right, got it. <laughs> Brainstorm from Kevin King. He had the option to land, to cast land, play land and cast Jace there. He decides against it. Wonder what he's curious what he's looking for here. He does did find a lightning bolt. He's got see a huge group of cards here from Kevin. The. Uh... Deathrite Shaman for Oliver actually represents two colors of mana. It's his only way to make green and red mana currently. Just two underground scenes on the island otherwise. Cleaning that up would be pretty significant. Um, also, if he just wants to Lightning Bolt down the Jace, that's also yeah. a pretty significant thing this turn. That's what I was wondering, is which card is he going to Lightning Bolt? You know, I don't particularly like letting my opponents sit with Jace and play. Mm -hmm. If he Lightning Bolts down the Death Rite Shaman, then he'll have access to Lightning Bolt later, if that's what he wants to do. Baleful Strix will draw a card. Kevin did want one of the cards that he put back. Looks like it was a copy of Fatal Push. Then he cracks a Fetch Land. Yeah, really nice sequencing by King there. He identified that he wanted all but one of the cards that he had access to. Use the Strix to draw one back. Bolts down the Jace, leaves Fatal Push in his hand for Death Rite. But Oliver has another Jace in hand. Deathrite's going to use mana from Kevin's graveyard again. Casts a second Jace to Oliver, too. But he still will, Now he's going to decide what he wants to do with it. Spell Snare, Coligan's Command, one other in Oliver's hand. He is very down on cards, so he's going to start with a Brainstorm. Gets a Snapcaster Mage, another Spell Snare, and a Ponder. Does not find the land, though. He found some tools that'll make it not. Not terribly difficult to find a land in the following turn, but he's going to have to invest some mana in them anyway. Well, there's still some problem. Remember, Kevin, we already know for next turn, can Fatal Push the Death Rite Shaman and cast Leovold. And now those tools, like that Ponder in the face of a, of a Leovold, that doesn't work. Kevin also has Lightning Bolt in his graveyard, Snapcaster Mage in hand, and two has Sna Spell Snare down because he did not find the land there. Yeah, he, he really needed to hit, and that was why he brainstormed, because he put such a high priority on the land drop. Mm -hmm. So Kevin drawing land five here. Got a lot of options. He's gonna start by pushing the, the, the death right. We'll see snap, bolt, or lay of old are his options. Looks like he's giving priority to Jace. Here's Snapcaster on bolt, bolt down the Mind Sculptor and attack for one. And with this battlefield, it makes it so even something like another Jace from Oliver would not be very significant. Though it looks like yeah. only um, We'll see what he's able to follow up with on this turn. Ponder by Oliver. Land, Fatal Push, something. He's sh he has to shuffle. Uh, also of note, Oliver only has two colors of mana right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with that Shaman out of the way. That was his only red and green mana source. But he needs a lot of help here. Kevin is threatening next turn. Oliver knows there's a Leovold in Kevin's hand, but mm -hmm. we know there's also a Jason. Actually, no, Oliver also knows there's a Jace there. Yeah, and Oliver is out of Jace's himself. Just the two copies in his deck. Yeah, so when all, he knew about the Snapcaster Mage. When he brainstormed that Jace, he was very much hoping to hit, hit a land for Snare. Yes. Here's Ponder. Can he recover? Baleful Strix, Pyroblast, Ponder. Just 
This uh, he just can't seem to get a land for the life of him. Mm -hmm. If it was castable, the Pyroblast is a nice spell, but this is just not going to do it. So no, I mean it's almost like he has to just shuffle again to go for the land. I mean, you play Bonder because it lets you see this many cards, but this is certainly running well below expectation. Right. And Oliver will shuffle again. His hand is still powerful. And this is going to happen in some number of games. He's playing a four-color deck with some basic lands. And draws Leovold, can't cast. Kevin. He can cast his spells, though. He draws Engineer Explosives for the turn. There's one blue, one underground sea up. Is there anything Kevin has to fear before he jams Jace? Unsure. He'll go with Leovold instead. Swings three. Oliver's down to 14. Says go. Engineer Explosive, Jace, and one other in Kevin's hand. Oliver draws. Looks like a copy of Death Right Shaman. That's right, Shaman's fine, but it has to survive. The odds of that are pretty slim from here. Well, yeah, I mean, if Kevin doesn't have the answer in his hand already, he has the Jace. And with that Leovold coming down, Kevin's now very far ahead on the battlefield, and it's hard for Oliver to actually make inroads on that. Anything that targets this stuff is just going to draw Kevin another card. He's going to lead on Deathrite Shaman. Has, you see him putting a shuffle of Strix to the front of his hand. That could hit him his land drop. Mm -hmm. Oh, except there's Leovold, so he'll just cast Strix. Says go. Can't. That Leovold card's mighty good. Ponder picked up from Kevin. Casts. Forked Bolt, Brainstorm, and a land for Kevin King. Going to leave them there and draw a card. Yeah, Forked Bolt to get that Baleful Strix out of the way is pretty strong. One and one takes care of the Strix. Oliver down to 13. And he really gets to pressure Oliver's life total here and makes it really difficult for Oliver to find what he needs because all those cantrip cards are pretty much dead in the face of that Leovold. Engineer Explosives on one. Cracks it, takes care of the death right, Shaman. I like how Kevin's cleaning up. Swings six, puts Oliver down to seven. And he's doing all this without casting the Jace in his hand. Yeah, there. having Jace back up is real nice. All right, Oliver hits a land. Many turns late, but what can he do with it? The fetch land does put him down to six, so yeah. if Kevin's able to interact with whatever he does. He just has lethal on the table now. Uh, outside of Deathrite Shaman, there isn't life gain in his deck. So his life total is likely to remain low for the whole game. Uses Snapcaster to bolt Leovold. Kevin draws another card off that. Swing in again. Snapcaster's trade. Oliver goes to five. He's actually taking care of most of Kevin's creatures. Now, there's still the problem of this Jace. Mm -hmm. Kevin will cast. And he brainstorms. Picked up, you know, your favorite, that Knight's Whisper. <laughs> that one looks a little less effective than the second, second Baleful Strix in the mix. Here's the second Strix, draws a card, does Kevin, but that's going to be Spell Snared. Put that one back. And a go. So not much, the clock has been slowed down. Kevin Oliver's at five, Kevin only has one power. But there's still all the problem of the Planeswalker. Oliver checks his yard. Is there another Lightning Bolt there? Not yet. And Oliver picked up a Leovold, yeah, but he has that Badlands so. there. That was his red source. There's no Taiga in this deck, so he couldn't have fixed everything. Snapcaster from Oliver on Ponder. He's hoping to find Lightning Bolts. He does not find it. Shuffles. See, he left up not a blue mana, but he left up his one red source here. Actually, Oliver only plays, correction here, Oliver only plays one Lightning Bolt, but he does play a Pyroblast. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. 
one main, one board on Pyroblast. So. And with Oliver unable to deal with the Jace that turn, he's seen enough, he's out of this game. Uh, little, some, some mana woes really stopped him. Uh, not hitting the land for the spell snare on that critical turn there was very significant here. You know, and, and even you saw some strength there from Oliver. Having so few resources, he put up, he's able to do a lot with the, the few resources he had. Mm -hmm. um, getting down to the point where, had he, say, hit the Pyroblast on that ponder, there was a chance he could win. Which hey. is